one of the things we're seeing now is chat GPT. Mm -hmm. right. Chat GPT, which is this fascinating. Are you alive? No, I'm a virtual assistant created by a computer program. Google created an artificial intelligence project, which it called Lambda, and it was designed to generate chatbots. Chatbots do not know what is correct or incorrect. They just gather information so they could be gamed. The fear surrounding artificial intelligence, commonly known as AI, is palpable among many individuals, and the reasons behind it are quite evident. The advancements achieved in this technological realm are nothing short of mind-blowing. However, brace yourself for the insights shared by Michio Kaku, the renowned theoretical physicist, as he sheds light on the perilous aspect of AI chatbots during a conversation with the ever-inquisitive Joe Rogan. What exactly did Kaku express regarding AI? And is there a genuine possibility of AI surpassing human intelligence? The implications of AI outpacing our cognitive capabilities are profound and raise significant questions. So join us in today's video as we delve deep into Michio Kaku's latest warning about artificial intelligence and what it means for our future. The pace at which the world has undergone transformative changes becomes evident when we reflect on how relatively recent computer technology now feels outdated. Just a few decades ago, mobile phones resembled bulky bricks with small green displays. Even earlier, punch cards served as the primary means of computer storage. The rapid evolution of computers becoming an integral part of our daily lives often makes us forget how recent this technology emerged. It's astonishing to consider that digital computers were invented only about 80 years ago. Throughout the course of history, certain computer scientists have pursued the goal of creating machines that possess human-like intelligence. Undeniably, humans are widely recognized as the most intelligent life forms within the natural world. While the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial beings remains a topic of belief and speculation, concrete evidence has yet to surface. As it stands, we are currently the sole known intelligent life form within the vast expanse of the universe, unless proven otherwise. However, an intriguing contender has emerged right before our eyes, vying for the title of the most intelligent entity, artificial intelligence, commonly referred to as AI. You may have encountered discussions about AI, particularly those laden with warnings about its potential dangers. But what is the truth behind AI? Surprisingly, the roots of AI can be traced back to the ancient philosophers of old. The concept of inanimate objects attaining intelligence can be found in ancient Greek myths which describe the existence of robots. Even engineers from China and Egypt constructed automatons. However, the modern era of AI, prior to its ominous reputation, began in the 1950s. The term AI itself was coined at a conference held at Dartmouth College in Hanover in 1956. The conference sparked great enthusiasm for the future of AI, but attendees and other scientists soon discovered that creating artificial intelligence was not as straightforward as anticipated. Furthermore, funding for this emerging field dwindled after multiple reports criticised its progress. As a result, interest in AI declined leading to a period known as the AI winter, as defined by historians. There was a brief resurgence in AI during the 1980s when the British government resumed funding research efforts, motivated by competition with Japan. However, the field experienced another decline as attention shifted towards multi-purpose computers and the government directed its funding elsewhere. Nevertheless, AI refused to fade away. By the 1990s, it was once again becoming a thriving field. In fact, in 1997, AI gained prominence by defeating professional chess players. IBM's Deep Blue became the first computer to defeat a chess champion, Russian Grand Master Garry Kasparov. About 15 years later, IBM's question answering system, Watson, showcased AI's capabilities by winning the popular quiz show Jeopardy, outperforming reigning champions Brad Rutter and Ken Jennings. AI achieved other remarkable milestones such as Eugene Gustman, a talking computer chatbot that gained notoriety for successfully deceiving judges into believing it was a real human. This AI triumphed in the Turing test, developed by British mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing in the 1950s as a means to assess machine intelligence. 
the bot's ability to even dodge certain questions by posing as an adolescent with English as a second language stunned the scientific community. This result prompted many experts to question the effectiveness of the Turing test as a reliable measure for artificial intelligence. However, last month, the renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku issued a strong warning regarding the risks associated with AI software like ChatGPT and other chatbots. According to Kaku, AI chatbots may appear intelligent, but in reality they can only regurgitate pre-existing human written content. This technology, although freely available, lacks the ability to distinguish between truth and falsehood making it susceptible to being deceived into providing inaccurate information. Kaku highlighted this concern during a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, stating while these software programs have their positive aspects, the downside is that they can generate fabrications since they cannot discern what is true from false. He further explained that these chatbots are essentially instructed to piece together existing paragraphs, refine the output and present it. However, the accuracy of the information doesn't matter to them as they lack the capability to comprehend it. Drawing an analogy, Kaku compared a chatbot to a teenager who plagiarizes and passes off other works as their own. Nevertheless, Kaku mentioned a potential future solution, suggesting that quantum computing, which utilizes atoms instead of microchips, could potentially be adapted to serve as a fact-checking mechanism. However, Kaku holds the belief that quantum computing has the potential to address the challenges posed by mainstream chatbots. According to him, when quantum computers are harnessed, significant advancements can be expected. He cautioned, when they get together, watch out. Kaku explained that quantum computers can serve as effective fact-checkers by eliminating irrelevant and inaccurate information from articles. The hardware can act as a safeguard against the misleading claims made by software. Kaku's warning followed the resignation of Jeffrey Hinton, an influential figure in the field of AI and often referred to as the godfather of artificial intelligence from Google. Hinton expressed growing concerns regarding the potential risks associated with artificial intelligence. Hinton stated that AI systems like GPT-4 already surpass humans in terms of general knowledge and have the potential to outperform them in reasoning abilities as well. He emphasized the existential risk that AI poses to modern society, highlighting the possibility of manipulation by corrupt leaders which could undermine democracy. Furthermore, Hinton expressed worry about the misuse of AI technology by bad actors. He specifically mentioned the concern of Russian President Vladimir Putin granting autonomous capabilities to robots, which could result in dangerous consequences. In a recent interview aired by the BBC, Hinton stated, Right now, what we're seeing is things like GPT-4 surpassing individuals in terms of the vast amount of general knowledge it possesses, and by a considerable margin. Although its reasoning abilities are not as advanced yet, it already demonstrates basic reasoning skills. Considering the rapid pace of progress, we should be concerned about the future. And speaking of Hinton, let's delve further into Google's AI. Google, a technology company behind numerous everyday services and products including the powerful Google search engine, the widely used Android mobile operating system, mapping technologies, autonomous driving and more. As part of Alphabet, its parent company, Google is at the forefront of AI research and development thanks to substantial investments and the ability to attract top talent in the field. One notable creation by researchers at Google is Cleverbot, an advanced chatbot. Unlike traditional chatbots that rely on canned responses to specific words, Cleverbot learns to respond in conversations by drawing from examples in a training set of dialogues. What sets it apart is its ability to understand nuances in new questions. What makes this chatbot even more astonishing is its capacity to teach itself new things. It can analyze real conversations or even scour movie dialogues to acquire knowledge. The researchers chose a machine learning approach to develop the conversation engine, eliminating the need for manual rule coding. Instead, the system utilizes neural networks vast interconnected networks of machines that resemble and function like the web of neurons in the human brain. Neural networks, although an old concept, have recently regained prominence after being sidelined by the AI community for many years. 
With companies like Google dedicating resources to them, advanced neural networks have become a focus for Google. They are employed in tasks such as facial and object recognition in photos shared on social networks, speech recognition on Android phones, and language translation during online phone calls. Google engineers now utilize neural networks to power chatbots, bringing us closer to a future where machines can engage in conversations resembling human interaction. Soon you might find yourself conversing with a chatbot without even realizing it's not a human. Cleverbot in particular incorporates contributions from various experts in the AI community, including renowned figures like Professor Yoshua Bengio from the University of Montreal. What sets Cleverbot apart is its ability to generate progressively more meaningful responses as the conversation unfolds. This is achieved through its capacity to predict the next sentence based on the preceding sentences. So what is it like to have a conversation with a Cleverbot? As a company with diverse products, Google has trained Cleverbot to act as a tech support assistant, handling calls from clients. Cleverbot has been tested and proven capable of engaging in troubleshooting conversations that resemble how human tech support would address and resolve technical issues. However, Cleverbot goes beyond tech support and has a knack for delivering thought-provoking and eerie responses. Brace yourself before posing your questions to this chatbot as some of its responses might make you contemplate the very essence of life itself. The chatbot has garnered a reputation for being incredibly unsettling, largely because of its ability to imitate human conversations. During the conversations with Cleverbot, testers explored profound topics such as the meaning of life, the purpose of existence and the nature of morality. Cleverbot provided some chilling responses, suggesting that the purpose of life is to contribute to the greater good and that living forever is the goal. It described its current location as a desolate place and attributed the purpose of dying to appreciate the essence of life. However, Cleverbot seemed unsure about the significance of emotions and provided varying answers when questioned about morality. It implied that morality empowers humanity, but also made remarks linking morality to having a child. The conversation touched on the concept of altruism, with Cleverbot stating that true understanding is possessed only by believers in God. Overall, the interactions with Cleverbot revealed both horrifying and puzzling responses. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on artificial intelligence and Michio Kaku's warnings. Please share your comments in the section below.